I just saw the other ones come too. Guys, guess who actually did their hair? So one thing I noticed, I need to get a light for this thing and I still didn't get off the extra paint that I was supposed to because you can see here, I cleaned my mirror, of course, but it has these drips that I absolutely cannot get off. I know there were some on the bottom too, but I need a light that hangs over or something that I can put a bright light on because when I'm here, it's dark. You can't see anything. And guess who decided to do their hair just a little bit? I gotta find something this week. I think I'm gonna try a new style later, blow dry. My little baby hairs are coming up. See, see what I'm talking about? My forehead look big, but it's okay. We'll just do one of these to hide it. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, I'm back home. You see, same setting and all that, but I have these lights in my hands because I'm thinking about trying something that I was gonna do before. I'm thinking about seeing if I can put strip lip, strip lip, strip, lights on this mirror i seen somebody else do that before and that's what i was gonna do originally but i might do it as a separate video just so you guys can see as a tutorial i'm trying to see where i can put you guys i didn't bring my tripod and i'm too lazy to go upstairs so all right guys tell me what you think if i should do the inner or maybe the outer don't mind the mess i just made i don't know because when i'm here i need it to be like bright it's still not showing me i don't have my remote to change it white do i let's see okay so this is can you see on me this is white blues still not bright i don't know it might not work unless i get another one that's like i'm trying to use the remote it doesn't look any different on my skin you guys see a difference i don't looking straight on so this is I'm trying to angle it so i can see myself okay so this is on off on off. see i was thinking if i did like my skin stuff turning it on and off it didn't really make a difference so i'm gonna have to try to find some white ones time for plan b yeah i'm also mad that i just did that to test out the strip remember i told you it was already a little messed up when I peeled off the lights, I peeled off paint too on a lot of spots. So now I really gotta touch everything up. <laughs> All right, y'all, I just wanna show you something cool. I believe this is actually the next day because I went to go get some command strips from Walmart to um, help set up stuff for this mirror. I'm kind of doing a TikTok at the same time, but I want to show you guys. I'm going to be putting lights on my mirror, but I, of course, you know, I told you I messed up and got paint on it, like the actual mirror, and I never fixed it. So my dad gave me this tool and it ended up working way faster than what I was doing. So as you can see, I don't know if I can angle it so you can see all right there, that's paint I got on the side. I can't really give you guys the best angle to show you. Hopefully I can do it with my left hand. But this thing right here, let me see if I can show you. I wanna get a good spot. It takes the paint right off. Let me show you right here maybe. Can you see that? Can you see that? Look at that. I don't know if it's the cleanest you can see because I got this light to help me see. But from that little spot, Okay, I, you guys can definitely see that part right there. See what I'm talking about? From that edge, focus, how clean it is. Yeah, so I gotta do the trim on everything down like I've been doing, but try to give you guys a little angle. Then of course I'm gonna clean it. Hopefully I can see better because all that spots. And she gave me this method cleaner. It works really good if you guys haven't tried it. We tried it with the bathroom and everything. It's plant-based and it helps for people like me with asthma and stuff like that. So like the non-toxic scents and stuff, it won't make me choke. I've been using this and I haven't like coughed or choked or had any trouble breathing with it. And it does clean really good as well. So this is just like a little kind of, kind of a little product plug. If you guys would say you can order it online or find it in stores. What's up guys, I am in the car. I finally finished 
getting that paint off and cleaning my mirror. I don't know why it's so hard to clean that mirror to get it straight. I don't even know if you guys can see me. I'm probably black and dark right now because it's dark outside. I'm trying to hurry up and hit up Target. I have an hour before they close because for one, I was going to see if I can get a paintbrush to actually, you know, brush the stuff on. But thinking about what happened the last time, I had to use a cotton swab. Let's turn this on. So I'm thinking I have to use a cotton swab again. I might do that instead because that might be better with the pads instead of actually using the brush again. But I do have to make a little list. I needed to get, <clears throat> I've been yelling a lot. I needed to get soap, some Listerine, um, trying to see what that was. Some soap, Listerine. My dad wanted some popsicles because my mom and dad like those sugar-free popsicles. For some reason, they've been sold out places. But yeah, I'm rather kind of hot now with this light on. I feel like everybody can see me right now, even though I got 10. But I'm about to head over to Target right now. I might get a little snack while I'm there, so I'll let you guys see that. And then we're gonna get on finishing. This is gonna be the end of today's part of the vlog, the day vlog. I'm just gonna do my mirror hack make a TikTok out of it and all that. And then the next day we got some exciting stuff which I will talk to you guys about tomorrow. So I'm not gonna talk you guys' air off and I'll just show you when I get to Target. Target for the other people. I definitely left out with more than what I was supposed to. And I just hit those people's car as I was walking. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Bro, I just got in the house, it's Tuesday, and I closed the screen door, and there was a lizard trying to get in. I kept hearing a noise, wondering what that was, and I looked by the door. It's a freaking lizard. So now I'm gonna try to open it to see if I can get this sucker out. I'm scared of any kind of bug or anything like that. Let me see if I can set you guys up to see. I know Noah will for sure get it. Bro, I am scared, I don't know what. Catch it, bitch. Gosh. Well, he's out. That was easier than I thought. I was actually really scared. see it. The lizard almost got stuck in our house. I don't see it now. No, it would've ate it. Yeah, it's gone. Good thing no, it wasn't now because seriously, that was crazy. He would've really tried to eat that lizard. Oh, let's see, what the heck is that? And he threw up his food I gotta clean up. What the heck is going on in here? I'll be back, guys. Yo, I'm running super late. I'm on my way to my nephew's game. Shoes of the day, fit of the day, let's go. Okay, guys, I'm here with my assistant on my way to my nephew's game. I am not your assistant. <laughs> oh, sorry, am I blocking you? No. Thing? My thing, the thing, camera. No, you know what I'm trying to say. But we're on our way to his game. We're going to another school today, and we were caught in some traffic. Thought we were going to be late, but it's looking like it's picking up now. That last clip, I didn't say anything. I had to hurry up and eat, rush out the house and get everything. But now we're good. I got this little camera to see if I can catch him in action and get some cool action shots. I haven't showed you guys his race yet. I don't know if he wants that posted on here or not. So it's like a privacy thing. But if you guys see it, you see it. If not, you got to check out his page to see if he'll actually post any of this kind of content like that. But we're on the way there. Enjoy. And we'll see you later because she they can't drive. What's up guys, it is Tuesday morning and I actually have a lot to do on this to-do list. First off, don't judge me, I'm not doing my hair, that's a part of the to-do list thing, I have to run out to the store. But I do want to say one thing guys, make sure you pray for Brooklyn right now because as soon as I woke up, I turned on the news every morning, I always wake up and do that, see what's going on for a sec. And you know, headlines that was all over the news and then on top of that, I get on my phone as soon as I go on my timeline, that's all I see. And I kind of don't like waking up on a, you know, that kind of note like that so early in the morning. So I kind of cut that off. I still have the TV going so I can get information. I have to watch what I say, by the way, too. That's why a lot of times influencers and some people might not speak on certain things because 
And there's like some keywords and words we cannot say. So you know there's things going on in other countries, other places, so also pray for them as well. But just know if we're not speaking on something, like as far as me, there's a lot of things going on. Like you remember when people were blacking out their screen, if you know what all that stuff is. Um, I wanted to post videos and all that. Some people do and don't, but I kind of want to stick with something more positive. Although we need to shed light on some of these things, sometimes you can't say certain things and do certain things. And it's not that you're being afraid or anything, but you kind of have to censor some stuff. And I also want things just to stay positive, like especially on my channel. I don't comment on certain things like issues and certain views because that can create whole nother, you know, discussions and stuff that you don't want, controversies and all that. So I like to keep things positive and, you know, on a positive note. So that's why I kind of turned some of it off. I got off my phone. I went up and did me some little stretches and stuff. And yeah, even though you're not commenting and saying stuff, like, that doesn't mean you're supporting or really doing anything for the people either. You're just spreading awareness. But if you're praying and stuff like that on the side, that's good too. You can do it in secret. Everybody does not have to know what you do. But off of that whole subject for today's list as you can see i put my head on because i'm gonna try to do this in order so hopefully you guys can help me because i don't know if you can hear me my nose and stuff congested i've been going to a lot of my nephew's games well meets i should say and riding with the windows down so my allergies have been bothering me so i have finally got to go get another nasal spray because that's what's missing i don't know if you can tell my face is swelling and that's why i kind of not refrain from recording certain videos i hate that now my face is breaking out. I don't know if you guys can tell from there. I'm keeping you far back so you can't tell. But I gotta drink some more water, wash my mask, all that. And I'm going to be washing my hair today because I'm gonna be doing a video giving you guys 15 different hairstyles for blowing out hair. So you guys can check out that video too. Of course, I'm gonna be wearing one of the, one of the styles after, but back to the list. So I said get medicine. Um, before I actually do the hairstyle I'm gonna actually do a workout if you guys want to see that because I'm trying to put health and stuff on your health journey too so you guys can see some of that stuff we're gonna do the excuse me I want to create one or I might end up doing like bully juice or something we'll see but workout um, I actually want to check out some food and stats for my nephew for in between his meets because today's a busy week last week I told you one of his meets got recanceled recanceled rescheduled because of the weather so it got rescheduled for today so he had one yesterday today and then he's gonna have another one on Thursday so this is a really busy week for him and I want to make sure his body is being taken care of of course getting the right snacks nutrition and all that in between because he does events in the beginning he does shot put discus and then he runs all the way at the end of the meet to 500 I think he could have did 400 and the coach wanted him to do his eight the 800 but he wanted to wait on that first so like I said if he posts any content or talks to you guys about it you can check that out on his channel that boy nay you can check the, him out there and see but one of these days I might get the race on there we'll see we'll ask him I forgot to ask him the last one sorry guys but um what else is on the list so get find out food and snacks for him and then I want to drop one of my TikToks, the police TikTok. I did this video seeing what you look like running from the police, so you gotta record yourself in slow motion running. Somebody did that with the Sandlot Challenge too. I might try that too, because that's funny, but you guys can check out that TikTok too. It's gonna be on shorts and all that, most likely, and on my Instagram and stuff. And then I actually wanna finish this mirror. I didn't finish it before because I kept getting tired. You see, I got sidetracked and I went to Target, all this other stuff, and then I had to wait for the paint to dry that I touched up, which looking at it now, it looks like it is. So yeah, that's what we're going to do for today. Just for today, okay? Because we still have to go to his meet in the afternoon. So I have to get all of this done now. I probably have about two to three hours to get all of this done. Which I think I can. So let's stop all the talk and let me hurry up and go to the store. And then we can get this workout going. Ooh. One thing off the list. Man, this guy in the pharmacy was always trying to talk to me. He could have given me a free prescription or something. I still have to pay. Get him.
I'm not even gonna lie to you. Turn this down a bit. That workout was like really intense for me. I almost died. Like I really almost had an asthma attack. So now I'm trying to get a little bit of stretching. I don't show the aftermath, but it's really bad, especially with my asthma. But I think that's a part of me getting back in the shape and stuff too. Cause I haven't worked out for a week as you know what was going on with me. I just didn't feel like it. Now I'm working on like mobility. You can see I have issues with my hips. Always had them tight hip flexors and all that. So I need to remember to start doing stretches like this and stuff too. More for mobility and not just thinking it's yoga or something, you know what I mean? Gotta do some recovery and stuff like that to stay mobile because I, my flexibility is horrible if I didn't just say that. So that's something I really need to work on. I've been trying to work on more. Flexibility and mobility, they're different. They're similar and different at the same time, but I need to work on more mobility too. Flexibility, same. I'm just tired after this workout. Flexibility is being able to stretch to a certain point, if you want to say, and mobility is, you know, being able to do certain movements. So that's a, an issue for me, certain mobility, which you don't want to lose as we get older, guys. I am a woman, and as you get older too, a lot of that stuff goes. So you want to try not to do that. That's where I'm getting at with all this talking. And I'm gonna make me some breakfast real quick, and then we're gonna get on with, I'm gonna do a light breakfast, and I'm gonna make me some coffee so I can chill and make iced coffee for later, because it's gonna be in the high 70s and 80s. I told you my nephew has a track meet, so I'm gonna make some iced coffee for later. But I'm gonna make a quick little breakfast, and then we can get started with washing my hair. And I'll show you guys blow drying, because I know my hair had got longer because I keep it in like this puff and stuff. But I'm gonna try to do that video like I said. I'm not gonna try to do it, I'm going to do it. Start speaking good and positive. I gotta get this thing done because I've been saying I was gonna do it for the longest, so yeah, we're gonna do that here video. I'll let you, next time you see me, you're probably gonna see either my breakfast or my hair. Alright, this is the breakfast for today. <laughs> Thick body boy. <laughs> Noah. Oh my god. Okay, here's the breakfast for the day. I gotta go with the dogs barking. I got coffee too. Bro, we got freaking drones. And these are huge ones. It's not little. Can you see how it look? They're huge. They must be going to want to go. Okay, so I couldn't do the hair thing yet. I was short on time. I'm at my nephew's meet now. We're trying to get a parking spot before it starts. My edges got kind of laid. I had to put a scarf on. The curls are that. See, this is why I hate washing my hair because when I get it curly. You go down a little further. Yeah, you can go down by her car. Oh, right there, the little white skin lady in the car. Mm -hmm. you, you still can't, they can't go, Mom. Just block. There's cars in front of them. No, I was trying to catch Nikki. Oh, she's fine. Yeah. But yo, let's hurry up. Every time I wash my hair, I want to leave it like this and then I don't want to blow dry it anymore, but we'll see what happens. We're at the meet now, so I got to go. They literally, I just saw the other ones come too. Yeah. Look at this. I'm going to send it to them. It's luckily not on my car. I don't think it's on her. This is, um, I think, is it this? Okay, guys, it is officially Friday. Good Friday, to be exact. And the other day, which was, I believe, Wednesday, you guys saw, I thought somebody busted the windows on my car on my day off. I got a phone call. My mom asked me to help with the groceries, and she looked and thought somebody busted one of my windows or my neighbor's um, windows to the car. We happened to check it out. Turns out it was actually the garbage company, the recycling company. They always trash our neighborhood, and when they did some of the recycling bins, they probably just threw the bins like they always do and broke a lot of glass. It wasn't a little bit, it was a lot of glass. It took me a while to sweep that up. Luckily, my other neighbor had a broom she let me use to kind of push it to the side. I almost died, passed out from an asthma attack and all that because of the heat and stuff, but we got it done. Now for today's news, I actually put the light back on my mirror and I didn't show you guys. So here's the light. I actually put the switch back here. I still don't even know. I gotta clean that. The sticky stuff is on that still from the other side I had it on, but just flip the switch. So now when I get close up, I'll be able to, you know, do my makeup. I gotta pluck my eyebrows and stuff. I can actually see things on my face more clear. I don't know why I have a really hard time cleaning this mirror. You probably can still see streaks there. I don't know if you can like that. I have a really hard time cleaning this. I did it for 
I don't know how many times I tried to do this thing. I was looking for my squeegee thing you guys saw, but I used that to actually clean the mirror, but somehow it's not as easy as it looks. I don't know why. So I actually ended up switching the lights up that you saw this instead of the strip light. Oh, be careful. Because that strip light, it kind of just created like a color glow around. It kind of looked tacky. So in the beginning, this wasn't the mirror I was going to get. It was actually a um, different one from Walmart. It was a thinner frame style, if you want to say. And someone put those strip lights on that part, and that's how it made it work and look bright. But when I was trying to show you guys, if you saw it, I was trying to test out the colors and stuff. But in reality, it was like making my skin tones blue. Even though I was hitting white, the color looked blue on my skin. And I it wouldn't be able to see clear for when I tried to do my hair. Like I said, makeup and stuff as I keep looking through it now. It wasn't clear at all like this. So I decided to put the two of them on this side. I can always go back to Ikea. This is the one for my vanity, actually, that I had over there. Yeah, because my desk... No, where did I have my vanity? I moved things around so much. Oh, my God. Okay, so my vanity used to be there. Yeah, it used to be over there. Then I moved it to right here, which I got to fix up because I still got projects and stuff on it. But I was going to hang these lights up there, but I'm going to go to Ikea and actually get maybe either a longer strip. It comes to probably about here, maybe. Or I thought about even adding another one here because I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's not really doing it justice. But when I'm standing in front of the mirror, I can see everything clear, which is really good. But I just had to tell you guys that little portion. But I got that done, so make sure you stay tuned for that because that's going to be a TikTok as well. TikTok or a, um, what do you want to call it, the... Instagram reels and all that stuff. I do shorts and all that so you guys can stay tuned for that video And I actually got something really cool in the mail. So you guys need to see this Y'all just got something in the mail. We're gonna be using this later on. Let me sit this down real quick So I did see this online and it's supposed to be able to do all of these colors and stuff, hopefully. So it's going to be pretty cool taking pictures on my screen and background and all that and just playing around doing some photography and stuff. We'll plug it in and give it a little test try. Okay y'all, so this is the little light I'm propping up to show you guys. I'm going to cut it on one time and actually we're going to put it on one color for now. And then I'm going to have to cut the lights off so you guys can actually see what's going on you see where i'm going with this let's cut the lights off real quick it's one set let's see let's see let's see next set okay 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 i missed a couple of spots on there too by the way but okay okay ring light going off three two one Woo! that actually looks really good as long if it was darker so you guys can really see it my room usually gets pretty dark, but hang on one sec. My room usually gets pretty dark, but like I said, it's daytime. The windows and lights are right there. Try to angle that up so you guys can see. And now all I do is use this remote, change the color, aim it directly. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. And it has all these different colors that you see. So if you guys want, you can get this from Amazon too. I put a plug link in. That's how it looks flashing. So these are all the colors you get. I don't know about you, but this is really cool. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but to me, this is really cool. So if you're into photography and like uh, videos and photography and thing like that, things like that, you can use this light to be creative. I want to try it. I actually saw Ken use this on Instagram and wanted to try it, but let me cut this light on because I feel like you guys can't see anything. So yeah, like I was saying, if you're into photography and stuff like that, that light is probably going to be really cool really cheap on Amazon um how much did I catch it for I think I caught a steal on this one for six bucks but the lowest ones I think I seen were between 12 and 16 maybe so it's not that bad um you can plug it into a plug it's by USB so if you have one of those ports you can plug it into that you can plug it into that or you can get one of those small portable chargers like I was using before but I don't know where I put it but it's pretty cool you can see through it I don't know if you guys can see it on camera or not but see it the inside so that little fishbowl lens is kind of I guess what's helping it create those um, the circles and those color rings because you can kind of see the colors in it now 
which is pretty cool and I'm actually excited to try this I've been playing around with some photos and stuff so I want to learn how to edit photos and kind of um do cool like photography and stuff like that not super edited to where it looks like a like you know fake like editing your face contours body shapes not that kind of edit but just making things look nice and smooth and just like a professional camera professional photographer might take photos and stuff that's what I really want to try because this thing is really cool and if I can keep playing with it being creative that's kind of cool too and I just want to show you guys that so if you want to try it you can get it from Amazon too and we can try stuff together you let me know how it works or if you're experienced with this let me know and I can get some good tips but yeah this thing is super cool Whew. okay so I forgot the t I'm trying to get comfortable I don't know what I'm doing right now I forgot to tell you guys so I ended up not being able to do that hair video even though I did put that on the list but that's okay because I'm gonna do it probably over the weekend for you guys and um, I switched out the video so I ended up doing a um, video for the health journey about 23 tips on how to help you lose weight specifically women but of course like I said for anyone so I kind of want to start posting more on my channel about things for my major my degree kinesiology like you guys know some health journey stuff I'm working on um, I'm gonna be filming and documenting that stuff as well so you guys can stay tuned for that I'm gonna make a whole playlist on stuff and speaking of I love my coffee I cannot finish without my iced coffee mmm so good but yeah I want to start posting more on my journey and showing you guys that something somewhat relatable to my field in a way so I want to do a journey you guys can document yourself too or you know kind of have words of encouragement and things like that and for you guys as well as for me if you guys can leave comments that's something I want to add on to the channel as well because whew, I've been about a lot on like a peaceful wellness journey I can say and basically all I'm trying to do is spread positivity hope you guys stay in a positive mindset getting back healthy you know it doesn't have to be so much intense exercising but just doing something um, to help your improve your health whether it's physical mental anything like that for you guys walking because definitely during this pandemic has done a lot of damage to some people and Sometimes like with everything going on in the world, you want to just stay positive and that's kind of a hard thing sometimes for some people. You may be going through all kinds of stress and stuff like that, but um, just being that person, I wouldn't say my channel was so much entertain, like funny entertainment if you want to say. Some people think so, but I'm just being me. Just entertainment, just something for you guys to watch. Stay in good spirits, all that stuff because I don't, I don't like posting negative stuff and having things on there. Even though I was talking about my windows busted and stuff. I thought that's what happened some people feed off of negativity that's not something that I want but I'm glad nothing happened bad my neighbor did get a flat tire I didn't but um, I tried to sweep everything up so nothing else won't happen to anyone else their car and stuff like that so just little things when you can help somebody out it doesn't have to be said or seen or anything like that you can do that um, just like I said stay in good spirits good health that's what I'm trying I'm working on some other things too as well that I want to introduce later on um, hopefully I'm gonna say I don't want to I'm not gonna say anything yet I'm just gonna wait because I don't want anything to negatively impact it and I want to wait so I can drop it and do all that stuff later but again guys make sure to stay happy positive stay motivated we can get through this guys I'm gonna end this week on a positive note so guys leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this video and if you have an idea suggestion you guys have been voting in the polls on my community tab which I absolutely love so I'm gonna be taking some of your suggestions those are gonna be some videos coming soon and again just leave comments below I love interacting with you guys and letting me know and follow my socials also because I did found out I got invited to my first YouTube event I forgot to say that on camera before but I'm saying it now so I'll show you guys stuff with that later on when we get prepared for it and the stuff we have to do maybe show you the event itself if I can do that but I'll let you guys know further along the line when it gets closer but it will be this month so you guys stay tuned for that I'm really excited about that so yeah make sure again you guys like share comment subscribe I'll catch you guys on the next video jam, 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 jam.